Keeping dozens of teenagers occupied, entertained, and educated over the course of a weekend can be a challenge. Not to mention feeding, housing, and transporting them. As the DEP's Mike Huff found out, it's a challenge that organizers with the Youth Environmental Program look forward to every year. What they may lack in finished carpentry skills, they more than make up for it with enthusiasm. One of the projects at this year's Youth Environmental Conference was building birdhouses. The conference usually kicks off with a craft project, and this year was no exception. I, I just absolutely love directing this program. I get to work with kids, all ages of kids, and we're giving them a great message of um, becoming stewards of our, our natural resources and protecting our environment and appreciating nature and um, really um, kind of developing that interest um, that they may have started to have. Besides the crafts, there are lectures on a variety of environmental topics, including some hands-on experiences with nature, or in some cases, hands-off. But it's the variety of experience that makes the conference so popular with students. I think it's where I like going different places and learning new things that I don't know about and sharing it with my 4-H group. I have to admit I plan months and months in advance. Uh, I've had a, a, I usually have a contract in place a year prior to the event and it gives me plenty of time to uh, work with the staff of the location uh, to make arrangements for uh, rooms and meals and conference rooms and uh, it also gives me an opportunity to research places that um, we can visit because we take the kids on a tour on Saturday and uh, West Virginia has so many uh, wonderful places to see and nature is just beautiful, the West Virginia State Parks are beautiful and the, the kids that attend this event are from different counties throughout the state and a lot of them don't get to see different parts of the state or have not yet had the opportunity to do some of the things that we we get to do. So that to me is one of the best parts of this program. Saturday's tour started on the New River and then headed to Hinton for a history lesson at the city's railroad museum. Organizers of the conference try to include a little something for everyone. Um, and been really involved with uh, DP and REAP and gone to all the conferences. Um, it's definitely something that I love to do because I like to be outside and you know we're working on doing a bike trail right now and doing a new play, playground and all that so I'm really excited to be at the conferences because it's something I'm passionate about being outside because it's West Virginia I'm born and raised here so it's something I've always been comfortable with and excited to do. In Summers County I'm Mike Huff for Environment Matters. Planning for next year's conference is already underway. We're back after these messages.